That's so cool. Let's figure out how fast she's going. We can pause it right here and let's look at her skateboard. Let's give the length of the skateboard a variable E for board. And let's duplicate the board and drag it over here. And let's stack another one on top and another one right there. So we can see the diameter of this circle is equal to two and a half boards or 2.5 B. And that means the radius will be equal to half of that, which is 1.25 B. Now, what do we know about B? Well, skateboards tend to be between 28 inches and 33 inches long. So B is most likely between those two lengths. Now let's get rid of the labels. I wanna relate this compound inequality with our circle. Instead of B, I'm more interested in R. So for the next step, let's multiply this B times 1.25 so we can find out the radius. And whatever we do to the middle, we have to do to all three of them. So we're gonna multiply all of these by 1.25. 28 times 1.25 is 35, and then 1.25 times b will be 1.25b. But we know that 1.25b is the radius, so let's change this to r. And then 33 times 1.25 is 41.25. Next, I want to know the circumference of the circle. So if we multiply this middle by 2 pi, we'll have the circumference in the middle. And whatever we do to the middle, we have to do to all three. 35 times 2 pi is 70 pi. r times 2 pi is 2 pi r and 41.25 times 2 pi is 82.5 pi. And this 2 pi r is the same thing as the circumference, so let's change this to circumference. And let's bring back our labels. Now let's figure out how long it takes her to do this. It took her 0.95 seconds to do the whole circle. So let's divide these by 0.95 seconds. 70 pi over 0.95 gives us around 231.5 inches per second. And then this fraction in the middle, circumference is basically our distance, and 0.95 seconds is the time. And distance over time is basically the speed. And then 82.5 pi over 0.95 is approximately 272.8 inches per second. So she's traveling somewhere between 231.5 inches per second and 272.8 inches per second. But let's convert this into miles per hour. So let's multiply both of these by one mile over 63,360 inches, and then multiply each of these by 3,600 seconds over one hour. And let's figure out what these equal. These two inches will cancel each other out, and so will these two inches. And these two seconds will cancel each other out, and so are those two seconds. So we can see now our final answer is going to be in miles per hour. And after we do 231.5 divided by 63, 360 times 3600, we get 13.2 miles per hour. And after we do this one on bottom, we get 15.5 miles per hour. So the speed around that loop is somewhere between 13.2 and 15.5 miles per hour. How exciting.